too much for a lot of people to accept because doggone knowledge is so advanced that we don't really understand it. T today we're discussing the sketch, the periphery, but not, you know, and I showed you those signs. Yeah. And I showed you that yeah. the signs, what they do, how they lead to other signs. But I don't understand what those signs mean within themselves. Absolutely. I don't. Absolutely. And it's the same about much of the pale fox. It includes a lot of information which uh, would take, I don't know, maybe in the next hundred years they might uh, unravel it. And they <laughs> might find in the next hundred years <laughs> they may come up with a proof that the yeah. doggone claim is true. That yeah. the Sirius B revolves around its axis once every year, then they prove it true. Okay. Uh, you know, uh, and another yeah. thing I was going to say is that one of the early papers of um, uh, Griol and Dietelain on the Dogon was published in 1950. Mm -hmm. And there they talk about uh, the spiral, the spiral signature of life, because the Dogon have this very strong belief that the spiral is the signature of life. Mm -hmm. So what signature of life has a spiral form in modern scientific age? Well, we know DNA has a spiral form. It's a mm -hmm. spiral ladder, yes? Right. It's a heli uh, uh, so they don't want to talk about heliacal spirals and so on. But they mm -hmm. published this paper mm -hmm. in 1950. When was DNA discovered by Watson and Crick? 1953. <laughs> Three years later. So we yeah. have... All this succession, I can give you three examples already. I've given you three examples yeah, here yeah, I, where I, 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 knowledge I, 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 have I'm preceded Western that, knowledge. And then I'll tell you a few things too. Go on. Yeah, I, I've given you three examples in this talk already yes. of dog on yes. knowledge preceding Western knowledge. The first yes. I gave you was, uh, you know, Sirius B, which was discovered in 1862. Whereas mm -hmm. the Dogon have a 700 year old tradition going back to the 1300s, say. Mm -hmm. Then the second one I talked about is, um, uh, you know, the, uh, the, the, the Dogon uh, knowledge of, um, uh, uh, you know, the, the, the signature of life, mm -hmm. where mm -hmm. they understand that the spiral is a signature of life. Right. Then the third right. one was uh, the existence of a second companion of Sirius, Sirius yeah. C, which the yeah. Dogon have, of course, believed for 700 years plus, which mm -hmm. was discovered uh, through perturbations in the area of Sir Sirius in 1995. Mm -hmm. and, all, and I've mentioned the fourth, which has not yet been discovered, which is the um, uh, confirmation of the uh the, the revolution of sirius b about its own axis mm -hmm. that has still to be confirmed mm -hmm. whether it's but you yes. put the dog on have never been proved wrong so far <laughs> yes Dr. Kamalu, so, no. uh, so what all i would say is that the dog on uh, knowledge is so advanced uh that people find it hard to believe that's all i'd say Yes, um, Dr. Kamalu, that's been an excellent uh, exposition, and um, I love it. So I, I would just, for me, this this is not the space for me to um, be it, whether agree or disagree. We're sharing knowledge. Um, one of the yeah. things that you know, as uh, someone with a significant um, background in education, we've done, particularly with the way we socialize and educate, is we've been locking people's minds into boxes, into frameworks within which they find it difficult to to even imagine you know beyond yeah. and then as we've even already discussed and this was actually the fourth other scientific point you made which has to do with the what we call our mind and our thoughts because you know you yeah. give that brilliant exposition of how you see those four stages being the ability to take what even what i'm speaking has come from a place which is supposed to be intangible yeah it's it's Absolutely. it's a void yeah so you've given Absolutely. us many i'm just gonna a few yeah. passing comments and then I'll yeah. go on. Just ordinary speech itself is a miracle. 
Yes, is, time. Is, 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 we don't think of it. We just take it for granted that we speak. Exactly. But when you exactly. think of the process of speech itself, it's a, a miracle. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to show you something shortly. Don't, don't worry at all, Dr. Kamalu. But there, there are two things I find very interesting. The first being the fact that um, you said there was this European who was um, showing you some of the signs from the Dogon and correlating it back to certain um, scientific, um, I guess, theories and ideas at the moment. And even for you yourself, yeah. you find this um, almost like a resistance to to being able to take that as true or mm -hmm. accurate. Um, for me as yeah. well, for, for me, what all of that speaks to is the fact that we ourselves, even as people of African descent, are, mm -hmm. are having to relearn how to find value in ourselves. So for us, it's a challenge yeah. to because you know you 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 can look at Africa today and see how people cannot, I guess. Um, explain some of these profound knowledge and wisdom that has just been is is so commonplace it's just part of the lived experience so it's been taken for granted to a degree where perhaps the the, the lay person would just tell you oh that's what we've always done you know i can't tell you why it's just what we do so mm -hmm. it almost starts to from the western mind where everything is made a commodity and given value you then you then don't respect it anymore because you see it as right. commonplace and nothing to do because like you said, I've never seen any subatomic particles with my eyes. Um, I, I know you come from a scientific background, so perhaps you may have. But most of us believe these theories that Western scientists give us, and we haven't seen the proof, felt the proof, touched the proof. But when it comes to Africans offering what they know, somehow we raise our bar of, um, what's the word? Um, analysis. Credibility. Graduated for some absolute knowledge, when even Western empirical yeah. and quantum science cannot give us absolute answers. So you see, we, we, yeah. we in a sense, we're doing ourselves a disservice. We have one set of criteria for somebody else while we give ourselves another set of criteria, okay? And I'm going to, before you even move on, the reason why I loved what you mentioned about the thought process, I'm gonna share my screen um, for all of us, bear with me, it's the first time that I'm doing this, so, um okay. I might get it um correct or I might not. Let me see. Ah, there you go. So um recently, as I mentioned, we've um we we've been running um, um a series of courses because the research has moved on quite profoundly, uh, where we're looking at these um scientific concepts and where we can locate them. Um and I came across this article. Um is my screen showing now? So this is an article published on uh, the sorry. Dr. Kamu, yes, is I can see it now. So this is um, yes, October it's, it's the 20th, busy. right? We have now a, a, a molecular genetics and director of quantum biology at the University of Surrey. Look what he's proposing. New research claims yeah. that consciousness itself is an energy field, right? Mm -hmm. So I go yeah. back, Dr. Kamalu, to the point that I always make. For those of us of African descent who know that we have some value to share with the world, it ultimately becomes our first responsibility to write some of these um, uh, subverted notions. And it becomes even, um, in a sense, easier for us because we have this untapped potential of knowledge, which again, since 2010, Western science is now telling us it's called chromosomic memory. Um, but we've been telling you we can speak to our ancestors and that's who boo 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 hocus pocus but a scientist is telling you that um, there's something called chromosomic memory. You've not seen the evidence, but you just believe it because the person is in a, in a, in a workshop playing with instruments and then all of a sudden they're meant to be more intelligent than you. So it, it, it speaks to us to start to investigate some of these notions that we even hold consciously or unconsciously of ourselves as Africans.